back to Shirley DIY. Today I'm showing you how to marble effect a, a Barton bottle, glass bottle. My son gave me this bottle. What I'm doing here, I'm first cleaning it with some nail polish remover. And I'm going to paint it with this glitter paint that I have got from, it's like a rose gold. I got it from Walmart. And it's a metallic. Because I wanted to have like a rose gold metallic look to it so first off I'm gonna paint the whole bottle with it and there it is I'm showing sure you that I finished painting it I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna come back with some Mod Podge well that's decoupage I use decoupage and some what I did is I took decoupage and some wax paper. I tore the wax paper up in little pieces. That's what you see me picking up. So I put down the decoupage all over the bottle and then I came back and I and I add pieces, little pieces of wax paper covering that with decoupage. And I'm going to do that effect all over the entire bottle. So what you're going to make sure you put decoupage on the bottom of the on the on the glass bottle over the paint, then you add the little pieces of tore. I took the uh, wax paper and just tore them in all little pretty pieces, and then I slowly add them on each, making sure I cover them with decoupage and make sure I, the decoupage make it stick real good. So you want to coat it really good with the decoupage. The wax paper and the decoupage gonna give the bottle glass bottle a uh, marble effect and you can do this with any color paint first what you're going to do is paint your bottles and see that's where it's dried i covered the whole thing and i'm about to add some e6000 and add some stickers that i got from dollar tree so i'm going to glue the put some e6000 on the back of the stickers that i got from on Dollar Tree got a whole pack they have roses and love they have different kind of stickers at Dollar Tree uh, you can use napkins so then um, some people do napkins I I chose to use the stickers because I wanted the rosy fat so I put the on um, with the E6000 then I go back with the decoupage and decoupage is just another um, You can get it from Michaels. It's just another um, Mod Podge. It's just another Mod Podge. It's just a different name, but same. do the same effect. So, what you're going to do is make sure you glue it on, glue your stickers on with E6000. And then you take the Deco Podge and go back over it. The stickers, coating the stickers all over with the Deco Podge. Which I'm gonna seal it to the um, help seals it and put like a clear glossy effect on on the stickers, kind of. So you can, I mean, you can use stickers. Actually, you can actually put a picture on the bottle. Like if you have a picture, a photo picture of someone or some or somebody of yourself, you want to put on a bottle on the bottle. You could add that on it. Just put the E6000 on the back and glue it on first. Then put the decoupage on, which seals it. So what I did, I put um, two um, of the big stickers with the three roses on the front and the back. And then I put the um, other two sides. I put the small roses on the two sides. And I really like how this came out. Very, very pretty. Really like it. And I'm going to do some more bottles. My son gave me this bottle. I saw it. I was like, I like the bottle. And he had bought some. And we was having some kind of function at the house and party or something. And he brought it over. He would make it mixed drinks. And I asked him, could I have it? And my daughter got one, and I got one. And I was like, mm. Let me do something with this bottle. And then I was looking at it, I was like, I want, a, I want a different kind of flower vase to go on my console table. 
So I end up, think, I was like, well, I think this will be unique and it'll give me another different style type of bottle. Here you see me putting the last two roses on that side. I'm just gonna cover it with the deco polish. This bottle looks so pretty naturally. I mean, in your hands and on. I can. The camera doesn't pick it up as well. What I'm trying to say, because if you try this technique, you'll see what I'm saying. It is so beautiful. The marble texture look. I and mean, if you did some vases like this too with this, like what you can use, you can do vases. Any kind of glass material you can use this effect on it. You just do your painting first, and then you just choose what color paint you want. Then you take the, just buy, go to Dollar Tree, get you some wax paper, get you some decoupage from Michaels. Decoupage is cheaper than Mod Podge, and you get more for your money. Get some of that, and then tear the papers up in little pieces. You don't want them to be neat. Just tear them up in all kind of little pieces. And you're going to cover the whole bottle, uh, vase, whatever you decorate, or picture frame, whatever you're decorating. And um, it comes out to be so beautiful. And I wish you could see it in person because it gives a beautiful marble effect. And that metallic rose gold paint up on it, it comes to just enough to give that that color texture to it. Like, uh, you know how you see marble, real marble, glass marble? And you see the texture of the color of the marble come through? Well, that's exactly what happens with the paint. That's what the paint does. And here, this is just some beads. It was actually like little bead necklace. You get them at Dollar Tree. And um, I'm going glue to them up, glue them around the top of the neck of the bottle. Just with some Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm going to do another little, bring them down on each corner, each side, to make another little design. But it came out so beautiful. I, I really, really like it. And I'm looking for me some more different kind of unique bottles. Because I want to make some more. And put them all out through around my house. Because I really like the effect. I... I never seen anyone do this, but it just came to me. So it was a trying thing. I painted the bottle and then I was like, I want a marble effect. And I was like, what can I do to give it a marble effect? And then I thought, work it in child care. You use all kind of stuff for art projects. And then something it just came to me try some wax paper so i got some wax paper and i tried it and i'm like oh my goodness coming it is marble fat it's beautiful and it came out really really well i was like whoa that is so pretty so just i mean go to dollar tree and get a, a dollar vase bring it back home paint it let it dry Get some wax paper and some decoupage or Mod Podge, but it has to. If you get the uh, Mod Podge, make sure you get the high gloss because that's gonna g give you your shiny effect. And decoupage is always shiny anyway. Here you see, I'm adding the beads down the side of each corner size, so it's gonna be down each four sides. I tell you. Just try it, and then you and hit me up in the in, in, in the inbox. Let me know how it came out for you. Um, I mean, you can use gold, silver paint, any color paint you would like. Just try the effect. It's just something I came up with, and it and it came out, and I wanted to share it with everybody. So I did this video, but I was taking my time. <laughs> I'm um, sitting down and adding my voice to it to tell y'all what exactly what I was doing because you really can't read on my container that it say decoupage because everything I bought and I brought it in my house I always spray it down with the cleaning uh, disinfectant spray before I use it and it kind of messes up the bottle I write it on the bottle because I, 
because of COVID-19. So I was just being, I, I clean everything I bring in my house, anything. I buy, I spray it down, disinfect the spray and clean it. So make sure that, because I'm touching stuff and touching it, it might be touching my face and I'm just want to make, be safe on the safe side. But as you see right here, I'm adding the bees going down the side. And that's going to be the end of finishing it up. It doesn't take long. You just have to let the paint dry. I let the paint dry for one day. Then I came back the next day and I added the, the um, wax paper and the decoupage. And see how it is so beautiful. It's a very, you can, in person, you can see the um, metallic rose gold paint. But, you know, I'm trying to give you a closer view that so you, can, you can pick it up. But it, I'm looking at it myself, and it just don't do justice for it. So try it. Inbox me. Tell me how you like this new idea that I came up with. And I'm going to add some flowers to it. And I got these flowers from Dollar Tree. I'm going to add some flowers and... I was going to add those ferns I just showed you, but when I, as I put them in, I think it was kind of a little bit too big, so I didn't use them. I went back through my bag and found the little bitty ones that, and added those little ones to it. So I'm just placing these in, sticking them in now. So it was just something I tried. Also, I tried this fit on a, on a rose picture frame. And I kind of like it, but then I, it wasn't what I was looking for. It was it was on a um, canvas, on a canvas. I had printed out a black and white rose, and then I just tore some papers out, uh, wax papers up, and added to it, to the um, picture. And it was unique and different, but it, I guess because it didn't, it wasn't colorful. It didn't show as well. I'm thinking about redoing it, doing something else to it. So there it is, all finished. And I show, sure hope you like this. Thank you. Please subscribe and like this video and share. Thank you. One more thing I'd like to share with you today. Check out my first children book, The Greedy Aphids and Ellis Blackberry God, has been released for sale on Amazon.com. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.